But Candace and I got up that morning. She came out and took me to my into the ER because my leg was messing up on me, and we were afraid something was wrong with my knee. I have a knee replacement, and she was worried that there was something wrong with it. And she took me into the hospital, and I ended up getting a a shot for it to get rid of the pain, and. They prescribed me medication to take to get the swelling down out of my knee and around my knee because it was inflamed. And then we waited around for my prescription. Summer went swimming that day at the horse stables, I believe it was. And then we come back and I went in my camper and after we brought my groceries in for me and the boys helped with that, and, and of course, Summer. And I laid down and went to sleep, and I got up, and I was sitting in my doorway. And we come out, and Candace asked me what I was doing. I said, well, we got to transplant these little cactuses into bigger pots. And we did that, and then... Summer come in and had a piece of peppermint, which is her favorite. And then she went in. She said, Mama, I want to go play with the boys. Candy walked her back to the house. And she asked the boys to keep an eye on her. And that's the last time I seen her. Tell me, when you first realized that Summer was missing, what was going through your mind? And what, what was it like here? To be blunt, it was hell. <laughs> I mean, and I apologize, I'm blunt. Um, as everybody knows, I have a missing daughter. She's been gone for 12 years. And all I could say is, oh, God, not again. And I couldn't do nothing but cry. And we yelled for her, and we yelled for her, and yelled for her. And we could not find her. Candy was in hysterics. And we never did find her. She called 911 and she called Donnie and we sent the boys down over the hill and I stood in front of the, over by the edge there and watched them. And, and was praying to God every minute that nobody would take them. And there was no sign of her. Do you believe that someone took Summer, or do you believe that she wandered off? What do you believe happened? I believe somebody took her. I know people say <laughs> it doesn't happen, but it does happen. It happens in small towns. It happens in big towns. It happens in the country. And I believe somebody took her.